<laughs> hey, what's up, soldiers? So, just want to say hey. Um, I promised a bunch of you because I got emails all the time about my tattoos. So, I figured today I would um, explain the meaning of all of my tattoos so that you guys can, you're going to understand a lot about me when I explain, like, all these tattoos. I had someone once say, um, oh, look at this dude with, like, random insects on his body. Well, nothing that I put, that I would ever put on my temple would ever be random. So let's start with the insects. The first one is, that's a bumblebee. Bumblebee, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Bumblebees represent a sense of community and hardworking because bumblebees are hard workers and they're very much the type of insects. They work um, in congruency with each other in order to um, achieve, you know, their society and their hierarchy and different bumblebees have different you know, tasks to do. Some of them go and pollinate. Some of them work in the hive. So the bumblebee, it represents a sense of community and hard work. The next one is the black widow. And a lot of people are cre creeped out by like spiders. I don't understand why, because I feel like spiders are like one of the most beautiful insects. They're really interesting. They're, um, I think that they're beautiful. Um, spiders represent creativity and spinning a web to your destiny. And I put it there because I'm an exorbitantly creative individual and um, I have a lot of goals and ambitions and aspirations, so I put it because I want it to help me and enable me kind of like cosmically to spin my desires into my realities, and they're coming true. So, um, the next one, oh, there's an interesting one. That one, it's a gladiator merman. And then if you notice, one, two, three, shadows of mermaids, right? So there's a gladiator with three mer women in the back. That one represents me taking the lead in my family when my dad died. My dad died in a tragic car accident when I was um, 14 years old. He got in the arms of one of my sisters. And um, the reason why I got this was to, it represents me taking the lead in my family when my dad died. And the three mermaids in the back represent my mother and my two sisters. So it's me protecting the only thing that I have left in my life after my dad died. It represents my family. It represents um, me, you know, protecting what I have left. Um, the next one is, I got this one in Spain. It says, Ik et nunc. That's Latin for here and now. And I put it there because... At one point in my life, I was um, living my life in a way that I was always like, oh, when I used to do this, or oh, when this happens, or oh, when that used to be like that, or when this happens, I'll do this. Um, I had an epiphany one day, and I realized, you know what? Life is the moment. Life is this, what we're experiencing right now. So I put it there to remind me not to forget about reveling in the moment and to enjoy being here and present in the now. So I put it there to remind me about that. Um, the next one is that star. And a lot of people would think that I would arrogantly put it on my body because, oh, I'm like this big star or like I think I'm this huge star. You know what? 
I don't think I'm anything. I'm humble. I'm a normal guy, just like everyone else. Um, that's my niece's name. Her name's Star. And I put it there because she's really important to me. And I love her a lot. I also have my other niece. I don't know if you can see it. Sky. That's KY. This one, I love this one. I don't know if you can see it. That one represents, it's Janus, it's a Roman god. This one represents everyone in life has a good side and a bad side. But in order to love someone, that's a heart. You have to love people for both sides. You can't love half of a person. You have to love a person for their good things and for their idiosyncrasies. So I put it there to remind me that the next time that I fall in love or the next time I get angry with my mom or the next time I get into an argument with my sister, you know what? When you love someone, you love them for the good person that they are, but you also accept the idiosyncrasies that come along with you know, loving that person, because as I always say, we're all perfectly imperfect. So, perfection doesn't exist. So learn to love the people around you for the human beings that they are. Learn to accept the bad qualities that they have and learn to love the good, um, because that's what real love is all about. Um, let's see. Oh, there's my other niece's name, Luna. So, I have all three of my nieces tattooed on my body. Um, oh, this one's amazing. That one says, Omnia vincit amor. That's Latin. That's Latin for love conquers all. And the reason why I put it on my arm is to remind myself how powerful love is. Love can make you do amazingly beautiful things, but love can also be bad. Love can make you do some really horrible things as well. The people that um, flew the airplanes into the Twin Towers that killed like over 3,000 people, those people probably in their mind thought that they were doing something good because in their mind they were doing it for the love of their religion so that comes to show you how love it's such a powerful emotion it will make you do amazing things and it can make you do really horrible things so i put it on my arm to remind me not to ever get caught up in the artificial high that love gives you because when you first fall in love with someone it sends a lot of endorphins to your, chemically to your system that makes you feel high. So a lot of people confuse that for being in love. That isn't being in love. That's the chemical compounds that your body sending, your, your brain is sending your body that is making you feel high. That is making you think that you're in love, but that isn't love. That's just endorphins. So. I put it on my arm to remind me how powerful love is and to respect what love is and respect the good sides of love and the ugly sides of love, which goes back to that. Um, these are five stars. That represents me and the five boys that I was in. A lot of people like that come on my page don't know this about me, but... I was in a really, really famous Latin boy band. I was in the most famous Latin boy band in the history of music. We're the biggest selling Latin boy band in the history of music. It's a boy band called Menudo. It's a boy band where Ricky Martin was part of it. And I was fortunate enough at age 11 to be a part of that boy band in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, and it was an amazing experience. I put five stars because it was a five boy band group and that represents my the beginning of my career and being thrown into like stardom and it 
you know, you should always remember where you come from. So I put it to, uh, excuse me, I put it to remind me that, you know, this is where I came from and appreciate that that's the building blocks that gave me, you know, the tools that I need in order to have become the amazing artist that I feel I am today. Um, let's see. Oh, this one. That's a Roman gladiator. That represents my inner fighting spirit. I've been through a lot in my life. I didn't have the best childhood. So I put that on my shoulder to remind me that no matter what happens in my life, I will always roll with the punches and my inner fighter will always you know, be there to guide me and to help me through the troubled times. Of course, and also God, which is like the most important thing. Um, this one, there's a combination of my mom and dad's family crust. And um, I wanted to have like a crust that was like special for me. So there's like an Angelo crust. This represents my family and this represents my pride and where I come from. And I thought he did a really cool job and it has like little room and like elements, which I love. I'm like all about like gladiator stuff. This one, it looks like alien writing, but it's not. Um, this Yud Yud Yud. It's um, from Kabbalah. It represents one of the um, 70, um, two names of God, I think. Hold on, let me make sure. I don't want to wake. The 72 names of God. Tell you right now. It represents one of the 72 names of God. I wasn't sure if it was 72 or 74. That's why I looked it up. And it stands for sustenance. And God is the most important thing to me, so I wanted to have him close. The weird thing about everything is that ever since I got this tattoo on my like, neck, my life has like totally done a 180. I mean, everything started going good for me, like in my music and like my life. And I'm not gonna say it was because of a stupid tattoo, but I think it's because I made an effort to like get close to God. And I don't mean God in a religious manner. I mean God in, um, and I got in touch with my inner spirituality and like made an effort to get down on my knees and pray and thank God, Buddha, Allah, whatever you want to call it, higher power, for all of the blessings and all of the good things that I have. So I put it there to remind me how important God is and how important it is to like give thanks to him for all of the amazing things that, you know, that we have um, and not to take them for granted. This one, it's a Roman eagle. And that represents um, when I broke up with my ex-partner. The, the song um, Delusions of Grandeur, which is my new single, is very um, autobiographical about like a lot of things that happened in my life and in that relationship and how people would put me down and like how people would always undermine my talents and my abilities and always like try to tell me that I wasn't worthy and that I wasn't like pretty and that I wasn't um you know talented and I mean not everyone most people didn't but a lot of people did and um the reason why I put that um eagle was because after I went through all of that and after I broke up with my ex-partner and got rid of all the like toxic people in my life it was almost like I set myself free like a bird and I was able to finally spread my wings and leave all of that negative baggage behind so that's what the Roman eagle represents it's me setting myself free from all of the negativity and all of the bad things that have ever happened in my life. It's closing that chapter and moving forward and like being free 
um, unapologetically I'm proud of who I am and what I represent as a human being and always trying to do good and always trying to be a good influence on people and positive. So that's what that represents. Um, let's see. Oh, my back tattoo. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. That's my back tattoo. This word, it's virtus. It has two griffins and a crown. The word virtus, let me give you the exact definition. It's amazing, I love the word. It stands for Oh, here it is. Manliness, excellence, character, worth, and courage. The reason why I put that word on my back is because that word, the crown, the two griffins, that represents my virtue. And um, the crown represents my, my virtue with the word manliness, excellence, character, worth, and courage. And the two griffins represent um, kind of like the two like gatekeepers protecting my my virtue and my value and what I feel you know I'm worth. So I think that's about it. <laughs> so now you know the meaning of all of my tattoos. So I hope that. Um, shines a little light on the type of human being that I am and um, and hopefully you feel a little bit closer to me. So that's about it. Alright, I guess I will talk to you later. So